Hey everybody, this is Bob KK4DIV and today I'd like to talk about packet radio, but more specifically some basic node commands for accessing maybe a local packet node in your area and what you can use those node commands to do. But before we get into the video, I'd like to remind everybody, if you like what you see and you appreciate these videos, please give them a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and if you wish to support the channel, you can check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash bobplank. Now, on with the video. Just what are a few things people do with packet radio nodes? First, many use them to connect to bulletin board systems, or BBSs for short. A BBS can provide off-grid communications via email in emergency situations, and some simply use a BBS to keep in touch with other hams, both in their local area or across the country. A BBS can pass NTS traffic, and users can read bulletins of various topics from around the world. In addition to BBSs, nodes can also support chat servers to chat with local hams, or if linked to other chat servers, they can chat with people around the country or even around the world. And lastly, many nodes are interconnected, so you can log into your local node and hop from node to node. You never know where you'll end up. You can even node hop across the world. Well, that's all fine and dandy, but how do you do it? Well, first you need the right equipment. So you'll need a radio, a TNC, a terminal program. Some use a sound card modem and a sound card interface, such as a signal link. But in my situation, I'm going to be using a simple terminal program called PuTTY, along with my Kenwood THD72. You'll also need to know the call sign the SSID, and the frequency of a local node. For example, I'm going to be connecting to my local node, KK4DIV-7, on the frequency of 145.05 MHz. Alright, first thing we're going to want to do, folks, is open up our terminal program called PuTTY. And I've already got my Kenwood THD72 programmed into this. Uh, all the settings are there, so I'm just going to click on it and select Open. And press Enter on the keyboard, and the command prompt comes up. So, to connect to my local node here, we're going to use the Connect command, or C. And then we're going to put in the call sign, KK4DIV dash 7 and the SSID and press enter. Apparently my call is not loaded into the TNC so we have to put in my call KK4DIV. Alright now it's set now connect KK4DIV dash 7. So as you can see we are already connected here we're going to open this up. So we are connected to the node. That's how easy it so is. So you can see a list of commands here. Uh, we've got BBS, RMS, chat, sysup, connect, buy, info, nodes, ports, routes, users, and mherd. At any time, if you want to get a list of the commands, you can just type in a question mark and the node will reply with the list of commands. So the first command you see on there is BBS. To type to, uh, the BBS will access the bulletin board system, so just simply type in BBS, and that's going to take you to the bulletin board. Now if you haven't logged into the local bulletin board before, it's gonna ask you for your name, your QTH, uh, your home route to your local BBS if you have one, uh, things like that. Uh, but we are connected to the BBS and we're going to back out. I don't want to get into BBS commands at this time. I just want to cover the basic node commands. 
So we're going to back up and how we get back to the node is actually type in the command node. The next command is chat. That will actually take you to the chat server. And on that chat server, you can connect to other bulletin boards or other uh, chat servers across the country. We are the local chat here in Panama City. Mine is uh, connected to several different chat servers around the country. So you can see here there is a list of people that are currently logged into the chat server. There's about eight of us on here. Right slash now. H in the chat server will bring up a list of commands. And slash B will leave the chat and return to the node. Uh, next is RMS. Now RMS will access WinLink, the WinLink servers uh, via a command line. So once you're logged into the uh, WinLink server, you can actually type in LM to list my messages. So you can see all the messages that are here on the server for me to check. So that's pretty cool. So the next command on here is sysop. And this will actually ring the sysop's computer. Maybe if I've got the volume up on my other computer here, we can hear that happen. So what that did is that rang my computer and you can type a message to the sysop. Hello, Bob. Are you there? And that will actually show up on the screen. It should. There you go. It says, incoming call from KK4DIV. Hello, Bob. Are you there? So that actually works. So another important thing you can look at is what different nodes this particular node is connected to. So that is with the nodes command. With the nodes command, we can see what other nodes this node is connected to. All right, so we have quite a few nodes we are connected to here. And the cool thing about my local node here in Panama City is I have it connected to four or five different uh, nodes uh, here in uh, the U.S. And then I have one that I'm connected to down in South America. So uh, nice spread of nodes that you can connect to and hop all over the place. And the other cool thing is you can connect to one of these other nodes and if they are connected to say another node in Europe you can actually node hop from node to node and actually end up over in Europe. F1 OYP-5 So we are now connected to F1 OYP-5. Um, let's see what nodes he's connected to. So now we've got a list of different nodes here. There's a ZL station, a PY station, VE3F4, CS5, N2Z, KF, LW2, DQC. So you can see there's a huge number of nodes you can go and you can just hop and hop and hop. And like I said, who knows where you're going to end up. It's uh, really cool to uh, be able to hop from node to node and connect to other stations via this, this uh, process. Now say you want to leave him a message on his bulletin board. You can actually type in BBS and log into his bulletin board. So we are now connected to the F1 OYP-5 bulletin board. This may be in French. Nope. Hello, Robert. 
you are now in channel one. There are 94 active messages. So notice that my name showed up. I've never connected to this bulletin board before, but since my name is out there in the bulletin board white pages, uh, he already has information about my station and about my call sign, so he knows who I am. We'll cover more about the white pages right. later. So we've seen how to connect to a, another node through our node here locally. And now we're going to, uh, we've connected to the BBS of that node. Now we're going to disconnect. Uh, the B command will disconnect you. And you wait for it. And it says you've been connected for a certain amount of time. Bye, Robert, and welcome back. The next command I'm going to talk about is ports. So if you type in the ports command, it will show all the ports that are on your local node. So my first port is my AXIP UDP port. That is the port that links us to a lot of these other nodes you're seeing on here. Uh, that's an internet link. So unfortunately, if the internet goes down or something happens, we would lose a lot of those links there. But some nodes will have RF links to other nodes. So those are more robust. They're not reliant on the internet. Um, so the next type of port you see on there is the Telnet server. And that's how you connect uh, to the WinLink server. Uh, it's kind of transparent to most users, but there is some other uses for it as well. We're not going to go into that now. The third port on here is the two meter VHF RF port. And the fourth port you see on there, it's actually port number five, because I have the, the fourth port disabled, uh, which was Winmore. Uh, don't use Winmore on here anymore on this uh, local node. So we uh, took it out of the list, but the fifth port is the HF packet port, uh, the UZ7HO sound modem. Now, your local node you connect to may be different, but this is what I have this local node set up to have. So I've got the uh, AXIP port, a Telnet port, a VHF port, and an HF port. The next command we're going to talk about is routes. If you type the routes command, it will show the nodes that we are directly connected to here and their quality. 192 is about is the best that it's going to have. You see I'm connected to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Looks like I'm only connected to 5 right now. Somebody's uh, maybe down currently. Uh, but we're connected to K5DAT, W9GM, N3MLB. LU4EGV, that's my partner in South America, and AL0Y. But these are the routes I am con directly connected to. The last command, users, will give a list of users that are connected to the bulletin, to the node currently. So you see it lists about four on here. The one at the bottom is myself. Uh, uplink 3 KK4 DIV. Uh, the first one on the list, host 6, is a link, is a chat link uh, from uh, LU4 EGV to KK4 DIV. Host 8, the second one on the list, is also a chat link from AL0Y to KK4 DIV. And the last is a chat link that's host 7. Uh, K5DAT-11 to KK4DIV-2. And, and to me, I think one of the most important commands uh, that you will use is the mherd command. So you use the mherd command along with the ports. So you see up here our port list. There's four ports, one, two, three, and five. So if I type in mherd, it's going to say... I'm going to come back and say invalid port. We got to put a port at the end of that mherd command. So I'm going to say mherd3. I want to see who has been local VHF lately. 
who have the who has the node heard locally on VHF? So uh, at the top of the list, at zero hours, zero minutes, and zero seconds ago, we heard KK4 DIV. One hour, 43 minutes, and 17 seconds ago, we heard K1 OSE. Eight hours, eight minutes, and 42 seconds ago, we heard KB9 NAP. So you can see all the stations that have connected to the local VHF port uh, over the last, well, it goes up to... Oh, 174 days uh, on some of those. You can also do MHERD port 5, which is the HF port. And here you can see all the people that the node has heard on the HF port. So something else you can do, we've talked about connecting to other nodes. You can also directly connect to other stations that may not have a, uh, a node set up or a, uh, an internet link. You can connect using any port. So let's say the internet was down and you wanted to connect to one of these stations we heard on the HF port and um, the internet's down. Uh, there's very few stations showing up on the node list. This is just hypothetically. But since this node is connected HF and we see some stations here on port 5 that it has heard on HF, we could actually connect port 5 to KB9PVH-1. That should be a BBS. So it says connected to PVH-1. We are connected via HF and you can see we're getting some commands coming across the screen here. It's a little bit slow because HF is 300 baud whereas VHF is 1200 baud. So uh, it comes across a little bit slow on the HF side, but it is completely doable and you can still send messages to uh, uh, your ham friends across the country or, you know, even around the world. So again, we're not going to get into the uh, commands and all of that of bulletin boards. I don't want to get into that right now. So we're just going to hit the B command for buy. That should cause us to disconnect here in a second. All right, so a couple of other commands we want to talk about. Um, the last command I want to talk about, and I probably should have covered this first, is info. Info simply brings up some information about the, about the, the node. And the last command we're going to talk about, let's go back to that question mark. Question mark, return. The last command is the buy command, or you can just type in B. That disconnects you from the node and returns you back to a listening mode. Now, as I've said before, if, you're, if you've got a TNC, uh, control C brings up that command line again. So you could reconnect back to the node or connect to another node in the area if you so wanted. So that's it. That's the basic commands of a packet radio node, how to use them, what they're for, and um, how to use those commands to basically interact with the node, access the node, um, hear and see who's been on the node, what the node's capabilities are, and, um, and all of that. Well, folks, that's it for today's video. I really thank you for watching today, and I hope this kind of sparked your interest or answered some questions you had about packet radio and packet radio nodes and how to access them. Stay tuned. We're going to be doing some more videos on packet radio, and as always, we'll be doing more videos about some outdoor adventures as well. So remember, folks, get outside, get on the radio, and we'll see you in a future video. 7-3, everybody, from Bob, KK4DIV.